walk. If you're new, I'm Princess and excuse my raspy behind voice. So today I want to talk about taking off your mask, finding yourself while adulting. This is especially for my young adults who are fresh out in the adulting world, fresh out on your own, and you're really just still trying to find yourself. And in that process, a lot of times, at least for me, I've discovered so much about myself to the point where it's just been like a very freeing experience. It's also been like a very scary experience. It's been a very vulnerable experience and just a really like real journey with myself and just finding who I am and just learning to become the best me that I can be. Um, when you first get out into the world, like after college, when you're really out here with bills, like you're really out here, you're not playing games, it can be scary because like everything piles on you at once. And yes, a lot of us may have the support of our family and friends, but a lot of us don't. And for those who don't, I mean, I can only imagine it's even harder, but for those who do, I mean, you still face that, you know, dealing with things on your own, you still face independence, you still face, you know, experiencing new relationships, you still face, you know, dealing with yourself, dealing with being alone at times, dealing with being lonely, dealing with being broke, dealing with being, you know, afraid, dealing with trying new things, just... Just dealing with life. This is your first step to really experiencing life as your own person, your own whole person. And so I've really just been grabbing it by the horns and just really embracing it and using this time to really just find who I am. I still don't know completely who I am. That's the beauty of it. There's always something new to discover. There's always something new to find out about yourself. So I want you guys to see this as a beautiful journey. And so my first piece of advice is just starting with yourself. So start with unpacking all of your, you know, frustrations, your fears, your pains, your secrets. Start unpacking all that stuff with yourself first. Um, you know, things that hurt you, things that you want to experiment with and try and adventure out and do and be it career-wise, relationship-wise, hobbies and just and just unpack everything and just start to look at it and look in the mirror and I've said this before but it's important especially when you go from you know high school college to being an adult it's like you really you get hit with life like you know and it's, it can be so easy to conform and not be who you are and lose yourself and you know, everything and lose yourself in life and the responsibilities and the day-to-day. The -day. And it's so important that as you transition to adulthood and, and finding out who you are as a woman, as a man, as whatever, that you really take the time to unpack everything and stop BSing yourself. Like, I really had to stop BSing Princess Simone Louise Rock because I used to BS this girl hard like making making excuses for myself you know making up reasons why i shouldn't why i can't why i won't and why i didn't and it's like life is too short not to be real with yourself to not deal with all of your issues to not go after what you want to not be happy like don't go on put a period on it life is too short to not be happy like point blank period in order to get to happiness you have to stop bsing yourself you got to clear out the fog so you can get to the reality of the situation that way you can be the best person that you can be you can see clear you know you can see with some clear eyes and you know no more and you know visine you know you can see straight so it's just like <laughs> Being a, just experiencing adulting has been like the most refreshing, scary, invigorating, freeing, mind blowing, educational journey of my life so far. And I'm only freaking 23, just turned 23 in March. Woo -woo. And it's just been such an experience. And it, but it, it's what you make it. If you don't take it, you know, for all that it is and learn everything about yourself and, you know, figure out who you are and, and, and unpack your stuff and just deal with yourself and just make efforts to be a better you then life ain't gonna be you know whoop -doo. it's gonna just be you know a little pity party it's gonna be gloomy it's gonna be dark and i understand we have those faces we all go through dark times and and moments of depression even and you know sensitive times in our lives but the the key to that is just to not stay there and so not to get on a, a whole tangent but essentially it starts with you in order to become the best you that you can be to, in order to find yourself and to get to the point where you've freed yourself from wearing the mask and you freed yourself from being who you think others want you to be and you really stepped into adulthood truly and stepped into who you are truly i'm just start with unpacking your stuff first unpacking your own mess simply overcoming shame through embrace so you cannot 
be ashamed of something after you dealt with it. You cannot be ashamed with something after you make peace with it. And overcoming shame, becoming shameless means to unpack the shame. It means to embrace it. It means to embrace fears and rejections, experiences, failures, you know, pain, hurt. Things that happen in your life, things that you've done, things that you let pass, things that you missed out on or you didn't take advantage of. You have to deal with those things first to get to a point of shamelessness. And you have to first acknowledge that it's there. Before you can put a band-aid on a wound, you first have to acknowledge that you are wounded. You first have to acknowledge that you are in pain, you are bleeding, you are broken in some way. In order to even get a bondage, you get a band-aid or put alcohol on anything, you have to realize, oh, shoot, I'm hurt. Like, you know, you have to realize you are emotionally hurt somewhere. You are mentally hurt somewhere. And you have to deal with those hidden wounds so that you can become more Together, you can become more whole, you can become full, you can become rejuvenated and, and uh, replenished. But you have to first acknowledge that you are malnourished. And before you can and you can even get to that point, before you can do that, you have to start with just being honest with yourself. And it's not always easy. I know it's just like, oh, she talking, you know, whatever, whatever. It's, it's easier said than done. And it is. It's so much easier said than done. But honestly, it's the best thing that I've ever done. It's the best steps that I've ever taken in my life as a, a woman, a, a young woman. I, like, when I look back on Princess, like, even two years ago, it's just like, oh my goodness. Like, you know, like, she's cool and all that, but I'm digging this chick right here. But I know I couldn't get to this chick right here unless I went through those stages in my life that I went through. And not that she was terrible. She was straight. Like, she was cool. She was pop locking, you know, wigs, everything. But I just, like, I wasn't completely like straight up in love with myself like I wasn't straight up like girl you the bomb I wasn't straight up like being real with my issues I wasn't straight up unpacking my stuff and stop BSing myself and now I feel like I'm on that path and got a, a while to go got a long way to go we all have a way to go as long as we're living but like just in two years three years four years it's like wow like I love who I'm becoming and you get to that point by being real with yourself and being vulnerable with yourself. Um, you know how people say, what did it say? You can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Like, you need to be able to handle the truth with yourself. Like, for real. And then transitioning from that is just owning it. Like I said, just becoming shameless. Owning who you are. Owning your truths to the point where no one has the power to take your truths from you. No one has the power to have any type of control over that. Nobody has the power to alter that. Own your truths, walk in your truths, embrace your truths, and know who you are. Because when you know who you are, can't nobody tell you otherwise. How are you going to tell me that the sky is green when I'm looking up and it's blue? Like, that's a real literal example. But you know what I mean. Like, how can you tell me about myself when I already know about myself? I've spent time with this body, with this soul, with this spirit. You can't tell me my truths. You don't know my truths. You're looking from the outside in. You may have an opinion. And everybody got one of those. But you don't know me to the capacity that I know myself. So when you become to the point where you are shameless, you know your truth, you're walking in it. I mean, it's almost to the point where you're emotionally, just personally invincible. Not to the point where can't nobody hurt you. But I'm saying like you are very one with yourself. I'll put it like that. You've become very one with yourself. And you've gotten to a point where you've reached great balance. I said, why do I sound like... I'm like from Star Wars or something. I don't know. Nobody can use anything against you that you have not already dealt with, brought to the forefront, brought like to be visible in your life. Nobody can say, oh, well, you used to do this. You did this. This happened. Y'all yeah, never did, and And like, so like you get to the point where nobody can shame you because you are shameless. Who? That was a word. And so when you get to that point, <laughs> That's like the ultimate, like, it's just freedom. That's the only way I can put it. It's just freedom. And so getting to the point where you're taking that mask off, you're dealing with yourself, you're, you're no longer BSing yourself, you're unpacking everything, gets you to the point of becoming shameless. And when you become shameless, no one can use anything against you. No one can use anything you had in that backpack against you because you done unpacked it. You said, what? Well, I done unpacked it. What'd you say? It's unpacked. It's on the floor. It's on the ground. We're not packed up no more. What'd you say? Oh, I unpacked it. And I put it in the shell. What's up? Huh? Just lastly, it's just holding yourself accountable for it every day. And a lot of times we like to kind of deal with something and kind of bring it up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. 
and kind of uncover it, but we don't really deal with it. We don't really hold ourselves accountable to it every day. I'm guilty. Guilt, 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 guilty. Listen, like, you know, it happens. We, we, we BS ourselves, trick ourselves into thinking that we dealt with it, that we done, you know, I done dealt with that or it's done over with. And then the same thing pop back up because we're not really holding ourselves accountable to that. We're not really actually making peace with it and letting it go and dealing with it. So it still pops up. And so when you hold yourself accountable for, you know, your reflection and, you know, the boundaries and things that you set in place for yourself, it lowers the chances of that thing coming back. It lowers the chances of more guilt, more shame. Like, I can express what freedom and peace and happiness comes with doing this. It's just, it's almost something I can't put into words. It's something you have to really experience for yourself and do and put into action to really experience what that feels like. It's like you don't, you're no longer influenced and held back nor do you care about, you know, respectfully, what people think about you. Like, you know, you're just like, this is me, this is who I am, I love me, I dealt with that. Okay, and this is who I am. You know, and it's, that, that is a priceless feeling. That is a priceless state of mind and experience and journey. So, be bold enough, be brave enough, be courageous enough to hold yourself accountable for dealing with your mess and dealing with who you are and taking that mask off and... I should play mask off when I say that. But in dealing with and taking that mask off and just dealing with yourself, it takes a lot. And it takes holding yourself accountable every day. I mean, a lot of times I got to put myself in check. Like on a daily basis, I'm just like, uh, you're not going to do that. She coming out. Deal with it. Oh, grr. I got that from Jazz. I need to stop saying that. But like, it's just, it's an everyday type of thing. It's an everyday task. It's a daily journey. And you have to see it as that. And when you do, you'll see yourself start to make those leaps and bounds and growth. And you'll see the change in yourself and the transformation. Because you're constantly and you're consistently, you know, putting in that work emotionally, mentally, spiritually to get yourself together. And it's so worth it, guys. It's so, so worth it. So today I just wanted to be a little vulnerable with y'all and share some advice on just this adulting life. There's so much comes with adulting. It's just too much to even put into one segment. Um, so I wanted to kind of do a follow up to my last video, just dealing with yourself as you start to adult and start dealing with adulting and just kind of looking inward and helping you take those steps to find yourself because this is a lifelong journey. Like it starts now. So this is just something that I wanted to say to help you guys. I hope it helped. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, like, comment and subscribe. We're almost at 200 subscribers. Oh my gosh, guys, let's get it. Tell your mama, tell your sister, tell your cousin, tell your friend about Walk the Walk and let's build our tribe. Thank you guys so much for joining me and supporting me. I love you so much. And as you know, every day, continue to walk your walk every day.